Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We are continuing a series talking about tethered shooting today, and I'm gonna talk about things I would add in to my tethered tool tab. So here we have the tethered tool tab, and it has some things that you would immediately expect. How are tethered images named? Where are they located? What kind of adjustments are we done, are done to them? But if we take a look at the adjustments tool, it doesn't have a lot in it. The ICC profile, a style we might import, metadata, and not a lot else. But the important thing is other, which is copy from last. This is actually a really important thing, and saying copy from last is probably the easiest way to set this up. Here is what this means. If I were to simply shoot a picture right now, the image will come in, and I might say that I want to do a little bit of editing to this, but I don't actually have in my tethered tool tab any good way of editing, but I'd like for this to be more streamlined. So here is a couple things I would add in to the tethered tool tab. Right click inside of the uh, tool tab, add tool, and then the first thing I would add is exposure. The second thing, right click, add tool, and I would add high dynamic range. These are the two major things that I adjust on every picture. And I can come into my first image here and I can brighten it maybe a little bit, maybe add a little bit of contrast, take down some highlights, and I can darken the blacks. A very basic edit. You can do whatever you want. Because adjustments is clicked as copy from last, when I come to my camera tool and shoot a picture, a new image will come in. And we will see that that image has those same adjustments done to them. In other words, all you have to do is set up your editing uh, for a picture the way that you would want it, and then as you shoot, it will copy the adjustments from the very last picture. And that means that we can have our edits done predominantly as an image comes in, which is absolutely fantastic. All right, that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.